Hello friends, today we are going to talk to you on numbers from 10 to 20. You already have some idea and to give you idea about numbers from 10 to 20, I have with me Gunjan. I am Anup and Gunjan is with me. Hello friends. So Gunjan, let us revise what our friends know about numbers. They already have studied something. Yes. They already have studied about numbers from 1 to 9. So, let us revise the numbers from 1 to 9. See, I have some objects on my table. Let us count these objects. So, look at the objects in the table. So, I have 1, 2, 2 pencils and I have 1, 2, 3, 3 erasers and what else do I have? I have 1 ruler and how many colors do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 colors and how many red blocks do I have? Let us count. So, yeah. So, so let us count this. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, these are 9. So, do you remember how do we call these numbers? Let us recall these numbers from 1 to 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and, and, and what comes after 9? Uh, I think 10. Very good, 10. Do you know how to write these numbers? You may have seen and you probably must be knowing how to write numbers from 1 to 9. Let us see here. So, I have 1, 2, 2 pencils. So, how do we write 2? We write 2 as this and I have 1 ruler. How do we write 1? We write 1 as this and how do we write these 3 erasers? We write these 3 erasers as this. So, these are 1, 2, 3, 3 erasers. So, the number of colors are, let us count again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, how do we write 7? Do we write 7 like this? Yes, this is 7. And how many blocks are there? Let us count these again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, these are 9 blocks. How do we write 9? We write 9 like this. So, recall how do we write 1 to 9? Do you remember? Let us see again. Hmm? These, let us remove these objects and now we shall write all the numbers again. Hmm? So, how do we write 1? Gunjan? We write 1 as this. And what comes after 1? After 1, 2. And what after 2? After 2 is 3. And after 3, we get 4. And after 4, we have 5. After 5, we have 6. After 6, we have 7. 7, seven is 1 more than 6. Then 1 we more than 7 is 8. 8 and 1 more than 8 is 9 and 1 more than 9 is, let us now again count. These are 9 blocks. Yes. So, if we add 1 more, how many are these now? Let us count. So, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. 
So, these are 10 blocks. So, 1 more than 9 is 10. ten. And how do we write 10? We write 10 as this. So, 10 comes after 9. What else we have in 10? Like we have 10 fingers. Let us count. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, we have 10 fingers. Then what comes after 10? If we add one more to 10, then how many are these? Recall, these are 11. One more than 10 is 11. 11. Can we count it again? Let us count it. So, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. But can we not see 11 as 1 more than 10? Yes. Or can we call it 10 and 1? Yes, we can say 11 as 10 and 1. So, we can write 11 as this is 10 and 1, 11. So, let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 and 1 is 11. So, we have 10 and 1 which is 11. Okay. So, what do we get? when we add one more to 11. We have these are 11. We have added one more. So, how many are these? 10 and 2, two. more or one more than 11, but we call it as 12. What comes after 11? 12. Let us count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, this is 11 and this is 12. So, 12 is 2 more than 10. 12 is 1 more than 11. So, this is 1 block of 10 and 1 is 11 and 1 more added to 11 is 12. So, this is 10, 11 and 12. So, these were again 12, 10 and 2 more. If we add one more, what do we get? We one more after 10, let us count 10, 11, 12 and 13. 13. So, we get 13. 13 is one more than 12 or how many are these? 1, 2, 3. 3 more than 10. So, 13 is 3 more than 10 or it is one more than 12 or it is 2 more than 11. 11. So, in bundle of 10, how can we see? So, we can see as a bundle of 10, then 11, 12 and 1 more, it is 13. So, these are total 13 blocks. So, why we add 1 more to this group? So, these are 10, 11, 12, 13 and 1 more. 13 and 1 more is 14. So, 10 and 4 are 14. In bundle of 10, we see? It is 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. So, these are total 14 blocks. If we add one more to 14, we get 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. 15. So, 10 and 5 more are 15. 15. So, here we have a bundle of 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14 and one more is 15. So, these are total 15 blocks. One more than 15 is 16. 16. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and 16. So, 10 and how many are these? 6. 6. So, 10 and 6 more make 16. 16. So, you can see here also we have 10, then 11, 12, 13, 
14, 15 and one more 16. So, 16 comes after 15. 16 and one more are 17. 17. So, these are 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, these are 7. So, we can say one, 10 and 7 more make 17. 17. So, here also we have 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and one more is 17. So, these are total 17 blocks. If we add one more to 17, we get 18. Mm. So, this is 10 and 8 more, one more than 7 is 8. So, these are 8 more which makes 18. So, 10 and 8 make 18, these are 10 and these are 8. So, here also we have 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and one more is 18. So, these are 10 plus 8, it gets 18. 18 and one more? 19. 19. If you count, 10 are already with us and these 8 were there, one more is added. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So, 10 and 9 make 19. 19. So, here also we have 10, then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 and one more is 19. 19 and 1 more make 20. So, these are now 10 in this block, uh, group and 10 in this group. So, 2 10s make 20 or 10 and 10 make 20 or 1 more than 19 make 20. There are so many ways of looking into 20 as a number. How can we show it in blocks? So, here we have a bundle of 10 and then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and one more it is 20. So, we have one bundle of 10 and we have 10 loose. Can we replace these 10 loose bundles with another bundle of 10? Let us see. So, here I have a bundle of 10. So, I am replacing these loose blocks with a bundle of 10. So, let us count. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So, these are 20 blocks. So, we can see 20 blocks as 2 blocks of 10 or 2 bundles of 10. Well, so let us see how can we write these numbers. Do you remember? Yes. Let us start from 10. How do we write 10? When one bundle of 10 is there or these are 10 loose. So, how do we write 10? So, we write 10 as this. This is showing number of bundles of tens and this is showing loose. Yes. So, we have seen how can we write 10 like this. Let us see whenever we have to count, we have always to make bundles of 10. This is difficult to count as such whereas, it is easier to remember these, this is a group of or bundle of 10. So, let us remove it. Let us see on the screen. When we count any number of objects more than 10, we make bundles of 10. These are 10 sticks, match sticks shown there. But what do we do? We make a bundle of 10. So, let us see how many match sticks are these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, we make a bundle of 10 sticks and we always keep this bundle. So, now we have one bundle of 10. If we open this, we will have 10 loose sticks. These are 10 cherries. Can you count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. 
and now these have been clubbed together to make a bundle of 10. We have 10 cherries. These are some objects. These vegetables, how many are these vegetables Gunjan? So, let us count. So, what we do? First, we make a group of 10 or a bundle of 10. So, see what I have done? I have clubbed 10 vegetables together. So, let us count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, we have make a group of 10 vegetables. So, how many are left? There is 1, 2, 3 and 4. There are 4 loose vegetables. So, we have a bundle of 10 and 4 loose. So, these are total 14 vegetables. So, how do we write 14? Let us see. Let us see on the table how do we write numbers greater than 10. So, we have this a bundle of 10. So, how do we write 10? Like this. So, if we add one more block in this, so we have 11. So, 10 and 1 is 11. How do we write 11? We write 11 as this. So, this one represents a bundle of 10 and this one shows one loose block. So, 11 is written as a bundle of 10 and one loose. So, how is 12 depicted? Let us add one more and that will be having one bundle of 10 and two loose. Yes. So, one bundle of 10 will remain as such and 2 will be there. So, 12 is written like this. So, how do we show 13 blocks? So, one bundle of 10 and then 11, 12 and 13. How do we write 13? 13 is written like this. So, this is one bundle of 10 and 3 loose. So, let us see if we add another block, what will we get? So, we have one bundle of 10 and 4 loose. How do we write? We write this as one bundle of 10 and 4 loose. So, how do we read it? We read it as 14. One bundle of 10 and 4 loose. So, if we add another block, what will we get? 14 and 1 is 15. So, how is 15 written? 15 is written like this. 1 bundle of 10, then 5 loose. So, what will happen if I add another block? 15 and 1 is 16. 16. So, we have 1 bundle of 10, 1 and 6 loose, 6. So, it is 16. If we add 1 more to it, we get Adding 17. one more to it, wow, one bundle of 10 and 7 loose is 17. We, if we add one more, we will be having now one bundle of 10 and 7 loose. Now, one more is added, one bundle of 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, these are 8 loose. So, we write 1 and 8, these which are? one is 10 and 8, 1 bundle of 10 and 8 loose. And if we add one more, what shall we get? We get 18 and 1, 19. And so, we how write? do we write 19? As 1 bundle of 10 and 9 loose. So, 19 is written like, is written like this. And uh, when we have one more added to 19, we will be having now 2 bundles of 10. So, these two bundles of 10 and how many are loose? No. no loose. So, if we re replace these 10 loose blocks with one block of one bundle of 10, then we will get two bundles of 10 and no loose blocks. So, it will be two bundles of 10 which is 20. So, 20 is written like this. So, it shows here these are two bundles of 10 and no loose blocks. So, friends, 
today you have learnt about reading, writing and counting from 10 to 20. Let us recall it again uh, from 1 to 20. How do we write and how do we read? So, let us place these number cards here from 1. You also recite along with us. So, we have 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. What comes after 10? It is 11, 11. then 12, then 13, then 14, then one more than 14 is 15, one more than 15 is 16, 17, then 18, 19 and 20. So, tell me what is there, how many tens in 13? So, let us see how many bundles of tens are there in 13. So, we have one bundle of 10 and 3 loose. So, these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, how many bundles of 10s are there in 13? So, there is one bundle of 10 in 13s or we can say we have one tens in 13. Okay. Now, Gunjan tell me how many are these and which, with which card you will uh, write this number. Okay. So, first let us count how many blocks are these. So, these are 10. We know it is a bundle of 10. So, we have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 17. So, these are 10 and 7, 17. So, let us find out which card will represent this number. So, we I have... I think this? Oh, I do not think so because this is 7 and 7 is only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Mm. So, only these are 7, but we have 10 more than 7. So, it is 17. So, I think this card will represent this number because this one we have a bundle of 10 and then 7 loose. So, these 17 blocks can be written like this. So, friends today you learnt about numbers from 10 to 20 or rather 1 to 20. Now, there is some task which you have to do at home. Gunjan, what can be that task? Okay, children. Now, what you have to do is, you have to count objects at your home. You have to find out how many spoons do you have, how many glasses do you have in your kitchen, how many books are there in, the, in your bag. So, you have to find out things and count them. If you have more than 10, then make bundle of 10 and then lose and then see how can this be written and how can this be read. So, talk to your parents or elders and try to find out how many objects are there more than 10 in your house and write those. Try to find out when we write 1 and 9, what do we mean by 1 and what do we mean by 9. So, represent this and enjoy learning till then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.